everyone. This is Adam Kwani. And today I want to talk about a distinction that my brilliant wife created. The distinction is from what to but. Going from what to but. Um, this came out because we were I was just sharing sort of an experience I'd had working with someone and, and she said, Oh yeah, I know that. I, I call that's what I call from what to but. And it can happen quickly. So the the sort of the meat of, of this distinction from what to but is where people in coaching we work with this thing, this ethereal thing we call possibility. And possibility is literally anything outside of what you currently hold to be possible. That's kind of a weird way to describe it, but uh, I'll try to dive in a little deeper. Everyone, we've got hard lines, rules about the way the world works. For a lot of my life, one of my rules was don't make eye contact with people. It's, it's, um, it's aggressive and rude and challenging. And one rule beyond that was uh, certainly don't smile at them because if you smile at a guy that he might think you're coming on to him, it's weird, isn't it? But nevertheless, you might think you're coming on to him or that you're, you're like smiling like a smirk or something like that. And don't smile to women because they might definitely think you're coming on to them and, and then you're a creep or, or whatever. And so you can see inside that set of rules, don't make eye contact, don't smile, certain things are possible and certain things aren't possible. And uh, with a coach, what I do to work with people is I, I ask them, like, what do you really want in your life? And, and they're going to tell me typically... They're going to start to tell me what they want, and then they're going to tell me all the things that are in the way, like, oh, boy, well, I'd love to do something that's, like, adventurous and with animals and food, but if I do that, you know, it, it means, like, if you start to, to work in your passion, it becomes work, and then it stops being fun, and then it, then it just becomes a grind, and you can't really make money doing that anyhow, so I think what I really want to do, and then they start to tell me sort of what's reasonable or what's, you know, what they're they're basically going back into their world and you can hear perhaps that possibility like what's possible is outside there where it's like well what if what if you could have those things but it didn't become a grind and what if you could work with animals and and food or whatever an adventure and it it didn't you were able to make a bunch of money tell me about that like what would that be like and i just want to explore that that world and what I want to do is just remove the, the objections that they throw up into the, into the conversation when we're talking about it. And, and certain people have a greater capacity to do this, and some people have very small capacity to do this. This is, what, this is the from what to but. Because when we're talking about what, we're talking about what is it that you want? What would you love to have? What do you want to create in the world? What do you want to use your life for? The what. That's the fun place, the exploring that. And people typically have a threshold, but like a certain amount of time, a duration for which they can explore the what before they go to the but. And the but sounds like this. Well, I'd love to, I'd love to work with children and, uh, you know, I, I just think they're amazing and they're turned on and, and you could see that how, how brightly the light shines in their eyes. But, you know, you have to go through a whole bunch of, of uh, like tests and you got to get checked out and, and you got to, there's a whole bunch of education you have to do and you can hear it. <clears throat> We're already in the, but I would love to do this thing, but <clears throat> X, Y, Z, one, two, three, here are all the reasons why I can't. <clears throat> and it, there's typically kind of a third part, which is from what to, but to therefore, and the therefore is the, it's the um, kind of the compromise, the place where people are like, since I can't have this because of the but, then I will compromise and take this. From what to but to therefore. And that's where people, it's kind of funny, but this is one of the places that people trip themselves up first. Because you can truly have anything you want in life, but first you've got to speak it. You actually have to say what you want. And people that really struggle with a strong what to but problem or, or kind of, I would call it a context or a way of being, um, people that really struggle with this tendency, it's really hard for them to get clear on that thing that they want over here. Because as soon as they start to play in that area, they immediately go to the but. And then from there, it's just a short trip down to the therefore. And then they hang out there and they try to 
put on furnishings and make their therefore look nicer. They're like, well, I make a lot of money doing my therefore. And, you know, I get a lot of freedom. I get flex days. I, I don't have to work five days a week. I only have to work four days a week. And, you know, they're, they're, it's like they're buying furnishings for an apartment that they hate. But the furnishings make them hate it less. Or it, it's like, oh, it's not so bad. They, and these the size themselves, you know, going back to the last video I made. So the, the challenge that I would give you if you're interested in kind of playing with yourself in this area is check out your threshold. Sit down in front of a piece of paper that says, what would I love to be able to do if anything were possible? And start writing. Write down, these are the things. And notice, you don't have to fix this, but just notice how quickly this tool up here, this device called your brain, starts to give you the buts. The here's why not. It's another way to think of a but. And play with it. And just see, like, you could even, if, if you really want to go further, you can sort of divide your paper in half and write the butts on the other side. And just, the cool thing is that in coaching, we actually play outside of the world of your butts. That's the whole purpose of working with a coach, is to create something that's possible outside of all of your butts. So from what to but, and see what your threshold is. How fast does your car go from what to but, and then fall off the cliff into the therefore land, and then, all right, well, how am I going to make this, this craps act that I've decided is what I can have? How long, what do I do to, to try to fix that up? All right. Much love, everyone. Take care.